Bartram Collins College of Public Service is the brainchild of President David Granger. It stemmed from his desire to revamp and improve the public service by training a fresh batch of young people. It is the hope of the current administration that in the long run, all public servants would have been trained by the college. On this program of InfoHub Extended, we look at the establishment of the college and meet a few of the current students and recent graduates. Roundabouts Approaching a roundabout When you approach a roundabout, you must use your indicator if you intend to turn left or right or make a U-turn at the roundabout. You must give other road users sufficient notice of your intent to turn. Entering a roundabout When entering a roundabout, you must slow or stop to give way to any vehicle already in the roundabout. You must also continue to use your indicators if you intend to turn left or right or make a U-turn. Turning left. When turning left, you must indicate left on approach and be travelling in the left-hand lane unless there are road markings with other instructions. Stay in the left lane and exit in the left lane. Turning right. When turning right, you must indicate right on approach and be travelling in the right-hand lane unless there are road markings with other instructions. Making a U-turn. When using a roundabout to make a U-turn, you must approach in the right lane and signal right. Changing lanes in a roundabout. Drivers may change lanes in a roundabout if they wish. The usual road rules for changing lanes apply. You must use your indicator and give way to any vehicle in the lane you are entering. Going straight ahead. You don't need to signal when approaching the roundabout if you are going straight ahead. You may approach the roundabout from either the left or right lane unless there are road markings with other instructions. Exiting a roundabout. As when you exit a road, you must signal left when leaving a roundabout, if it is practical to do so, and you should stop indicating as soon as you have exited the roundabout. However, when you are travelling straight ahead on a small single lane roundabout, it may be impractical to indicate when exiting. The concept of a public service training college was first mooted by President Granger when he addressed public servants at the Artichan Convention Centre on May 20, 2015. The head of state reiterated the need to reform the public service. It was shortly after taking office in 2015 that the President promised the establishment of the public service college. It was named in honor of Dr. Bertram Collins, a Guyanese internationally renowned scholar and writer in the field of public administration. In 1968, Dr. Bertram Collins was appointed to be the chairman of the first commission of inquiry into the public service of Ghana. The institution seeks to embrace a positive change continuously in order to become the transformative agent that will effectuate fundamental improvement in public servants' performances and behaviors. The college will eventually have four faculties that will produce graduates with university-level qualifications. These faculties will focus on international relations, for the foreign service, defense, public administration, and information technology. The institution provides training for all candidates wanting to enter the public service. It aims to give them the appropriate skills and knowledge, along with attitude, to meet the everyday challenges and to perform their duties efficiently and effectively. President Granger noted that public servants must possess expert knowledge and high standards to improve the sector's efficiency and increase the satisfaction of the people of Guyana. Therefore, the establishment of the Public Service College is seen as a step in the right direction for those desirous of a career in the public service sector. A professional public service is essential to the efficient delivery of public services, such as public education, public health, public infrastructure, public security, public telecommunications, and of course, the public service itself. Guyana's development demands the existence of a public service, and public service must possess the education, they must have the motivation, and there must be the organization to enable them to provide the services of citizens need. The head of state initially toured the Ghana Sugar Corporation's headquarters located at Ogle on the east coast of Demerara as a possible site for the college. Months later, this site was selected and the Bertram Collins College of the Public Service was constructed. 
equipped with a fully air-conditioned lecture hall, staff lounge, and a dining hall for students. Interested applicants must possess six subjects, including maths and English A, at CSEC proficiency with grades 1 to 2. Prospective applicants should be between the ages of 17 and 21. Benefits include uniforms, stipends, transportation to and from college, meals, study tours, accommodations for students from far from areas, a laptop, and guaranteed employment after successful completion of training. The courses offered include quantitative methods to accounting and budgeting, introduction to environmental management and conservation, introduction to politics and international relations, social studies, language and communications, aspects of Guyanese history, information technology, introduction to the public service, one, the economy of Guyana, customer service and ethical considerations, creative thinking and problem solving, geography, stress and anger management, introduction to the public service, two, the legal system of Guyana, the local government system of Guyana, and leadership skills for public servants. InfoHub met with a few students who shared their experiences. Well, my experience here have been, to be honest, it's worth, it's worth coming. Um, the courses that are being taught, it, it's, quite, it's quite amazing that you're getting this for free. And also, the level of work that we're doing here, it's one uh, that can be compared to the University of Guyana. So when we finish here, we'll be graduating with a certificate. The reason why I chose Bertram College, College of Public Service as a next step in my life was due to the fact that I have a, a, craving, a craving to know how the public system of Guyana works and I also, I'm also one of the persons that desire to see the change in which the public service of Guyana needs. I was in the process of deciding whether I should go to the University of Guyana or continue to look for a job and I saw the ad and it, I researched the college and I saw that it promoted integrity, impartiality and objectivity. All the stuff that I wanted in myself and I believe is necessary in the young, for the young people of Guyana to have. So I came to the college and since then I would say I don't regret it. So I chose the Bartram Collins College of Public Service because I believe that I can be a change agent in my community which is Mabrumo. Um, I came about knowing about the college from my mom who saw it in the ad and she explained to me what it's all about and I decided that this is the path that I want to take to help better Guyana. Two graduates work at the Ministry of Public Security. Hi, I'm Ashmina Hassan and I am the votes clerk in the Department of Finance within the Ministry of Public Security. My job entitles me to put through payments with the system that is managed by finance to prepare payments for contractors and stuff. I have been in this position for three months, but prior to that, I worked in the examination system for finance. After hearing all about the working world, it's good to actually experience it firsthand. And honestly, it's going quite well, especially with your coworkers and the relationships that you get to build every day and the people that you see and you get to interface with. It's amazing. Bye functionality is a preparation clerk in the accounts department so I would be responsible for preparing PVs which are payment vouchers for things like utilities or purchasing of capital items for the ministry. I've been in this position for about six months now. Well for me it was it was kind of troubling. I was unsure what to expect especially because we were coming in the accounts department because uh, that's that's new territory for me. I, I was never really in, in anything in accounts before mm -hmm. but uh, you know I try to keep, keep an open mind and just came in it the job can get really stressful sometimes so we in the college we did stress and anger management so that's that's helpful sometimes maybe you might get a, a large workload and you remember uh, one of our lecturers Mr. Walcott he would say he would say you know stress is kind of a choice so you remember and you slow down and you relax yourself you no longer worrying you, you maybe you were shaking you're not shaking anymore as well as when it comes to like managing your time, you know, this is the process, this is what I learned in the college. It has to go through these amount of steps before it can be completed. So you know that if I do it late, then the payment is going to be past you. So you learn how to kind of manage your time based on what they taught us. It seemed like a good opportunity. Uh, they, they would um, feed you, teach you, 
transport you. You know, it's all the good stuff. <laughs> I chose Bertram Collins College of the Public Service because I saw it as a great platform for the youths to shine and to show that we are still there for Guyana and we want to see Guyana move forward as well. No other place can give you a better understanding of what should be expected in the public service than the public service college itself. The establishment of the Bartram Collins College of Public Service is part of government's efforts to rein in corruption and improve efficiency in the public sector. President David Granger once posited that the public service should be established firmly on the basis of an effective merit system and not on the basis of political partiality. The functioning of the college should now assist in ensuring the merit system is reinforced and better public servants for the nation. That's all for this edition of InfoHub Extended. We hope you enjoyed. Goodbye. The future of Guyana has never looked better. Our nation is on the cusp of a development program like never seen before. While Guyana is now emerging as an energy giant through the discovery of massive reserves of oil and natural gas, it is your government's intention that the huge benefits emerging from this will go where it matters most, to you, the people of this beloved country. There is a surge of confidence in the way Guyana is governed once again, and the level of investor interest is unprecedented. Guyana is poised to become the breadbasket of the region, and the pace at which this nation will grow through prudent fiscal management will be nothing short of impressive. But more than anything else will be the way every Guyanese, regardless of color, class, or creed, becomes a part of this historic period of national transformation, sharing in the wealth and well-being of it all as one Guyana.